Hey guys, this is going to be Emerald Tablet 3, The Key of Wisdom. <clears throat> I like how because these were all written on tablets, they're all pretty short, so I'm hopefully going to be able to get these all up before I leave for Penzik, I'm hoping. so. Tablet 3, The Key of Wisdom. I, Thoth the Atlantean, give of my wisdom, give of my knowledge, give of my power, freely I give to the children of men. Give that they too might have wisdom to shine through the world from the veil of the night. My cat is eating ramen. Alright, sorry. Brief interruption. My cat never eats people food. I'm totally shocked. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Continuing. I, Thoth the Atlantean, give of my wisdom, give of my knowledge, give of my power, freely I give to the children of men, that they too might have the wisdom to shine through the world from the veil of the night. Wisdom is power, and power is wisdom, one with each other, perfecting the whole. Be thou not proud, O man, in thy wisdom. Discourse with the ignorant as well as the wise. If one comes to thee full of knowledge, listen and heed, for wisdom is all. Keep thou not silent when evil is spoken, for truth, like sunlight, shines from above all. He who oversteppeth the law shall be punished, for only through law comes the freedom of men. Follow thine heart during thy lifetime. Do more than thine is do do thou more than is commanded of thee. When thou hast gained riches, follow thou thine heart, for all of these are of no avail if thine heart be weary. Diminish thou not the time of the following thine heart. It is a board of the soul. That they are guard I'm sorry. They that are guided not go not astray, but they that are lost cannot find a straight path. If thou go among men, make for thyself love the beginning and end of the heart. If one cometh unto thee for counsel, let him speak freely, that the thing for which he hath come to thee may be done. If he hesitates to open his heart to thee, it is because thou, the judge, doeth the wrong meaning people will not come to you if you judge them and or if they feel that you are judging them repeat thou not extravagant speech neither listen thou to it <laughs> for it is the utterance of one not in equilibrium speak thou not of it so that before thee may know wisdom Silence is of great profit, and abundance of speech profiteth nothing. Exalt not thine heart above the children of men, lest it be brought lower than the dust. If thou be great among men, be honored for knowledge and gentleness. If thou seeketh to know the nature of a friend, ask not his companion, but pass a time alone with him. Debate with him, testing his heart by words and his bearing. That which goeth into a storehouse must come from must come forth, and the things that are thine must be shared with a friend. Knowledge is regard, regarded by the fool as ignorance, and these things that are profitable are to him hurtful. He liveth in death, and is there, it is therefore his food. Knowledge is regarded by the fool as ignorance, and the things that are profitable are to him hurtful. He liveth in death, it is therefore his food. The wise man lets his heart overflow, but keeps silent his mouth. O man, list to the voice of wisdom, list to the voice of light. Mysteries there are in the cosmos that unveil, fill the world with their light. Let he who would be free from the bonds of darkness first divine the material from the immaterial. The fire from the earth, for know ye that as earth descends to earth, so also fire ascends unto fire and becomes one with the fire. He who knows that fire is that is within himself shall ascend unto 
the eternal fire and dwell in it eternally. Fire, the eternal fire, no, fire, the inner fire, is the most potent of all force, for it overcometh all things and penetrates all things of the earth. Man supports himself only on that which he resists, so earth must resist man, else he existeth not. All eyes do not see with the same vision, so for to one an object appears of one form and color, and to a different eye of another. And that's something that I have known for a long time. In fact, in eighth grade, they tried to teach us that men were, most men were partially colorblind. And that's why men see color a lot differently than women do. And I test that on my husband all the time because he thinks that like pinks are purples and greens are blues. And I guess everybody really does see differently. Um, thus, Speak I, Thoth, of my wisdom, for man is a fire burning bright through the night, never is quenched in the veil of the darkness, never is quenched by the veil of the night. Hark ye, O man, and listen to this wisdom, where do name and form cease? Only in consciousness, visible, an infinite force of radiance bright. The forms that ye create by brightening thy vision are truly effects that follow thy cause. Man is a star bound to a body, until in the end he is freed through his strife, only to struggle and toiling thy utmost shall the star within thee bloom out in new life. He who knows the commencement of all things, free is his star from the realms of the night. Remember, O oh man, that all which exists is only another form of that which exists not. Everything that has being is passing into yet another being, and thou thyself are not an exception. Consider the law, for the law is all. Seek not that which is not of the law, for such exists only in the illusions of the senses. Wisdom cometh to all her children, even as they cometh unto wisdom. All through the ages the light has been hidden. Awake, O man, and be wise. Deep in the mysteries of life I have traveled, seeking and searching for that which is hidden. List ye, O man, and be wise. Far neath the earth crust, in the halls of Amenti, mysteries I saw that are hidden from men. Oft I have journeyed <clears throat> the deep hidden passage, looked on the light that is the life among men. There, Neath the flowers of life, ever living, searched I the hearts and secrets of men. Found I that man is but living in darkness, light of the great fire is hidden within. Before the lords of the hidden Amenti, learned I the wisdom I give unto men. Masters are they of the great secret wisdom brought from the future of infinity's end. Seven are they, the lords of Amenti, lords they of the children of morning, sons of the cycles, masters of wisdom. Formed are they not, formed are not they as the children of men. Three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine are the titles of the masters of men. Far from the future, formless yet forming, come th came they as teachers for the children of men. Live they forever, yet not of the living, bound not to life, and yet free from death. Rule they forever with infinite wisdom, bound yet not bound to the halls of death. Life they have in them, yet life that is not life. Free from all are the lords of all. Forth from them came forth the logos, instruments they of the power over all. Vast is their countenance, yet hidden in smallness, formed by a forming known yet unknown. Three holds the key of all hidden magic, creator he of the halls of the dead, 
sending forth power shrouding with darkness binding the souls of the children of men sending of the children of men for is he who loses the power lord he of life to the children of men light is his body flame is his countenance freer of the souls to the children of men Five is the master, the lord of the magic, key to the word that resounds among men. Six is the lord of light, the hidden pathway, part of the souls of the children of men. Seven is he who is the lord of vastness, master of space and the key of the times. Eight is he who orders the progress, weighs and balances the journey of men. Nine is the father, vast of the countenance, Forming and changing from out of the formless. Meditate on the symbols I give thee. Keys are they, through hidden, though hidden from men. Reach ever upward, O soul of the morning. Turn thy thoughts upward to light and to life. Find in the keys of the numbers I bring thee. Light on the pathway from life unto life. Seek ye with wisdom, turn thy thoughts inward. Close not thy mind to the flower of light. Seek in thy body a thought-formed picture. Think of the numbers that led thee to life. Clear is the pathway to he who has wisdom. Open the door to the kingdom of light. Pour forth thy flame as a son of the morning. Shut out the darkness and live in the day. Take thee, O man, as part of thy being, the seven who are but not, who are but are not as they seem. Opened, O oh man, have I my wisdom. Follow the path in the way I have led. Masters of wisdom, son of the morning, light and life to the children of men. So that's it for tablet three. I guess I'm going to do the rest tomorrow. <laughs>